Tiki Billa is an echidna. This mother, Tiki Billa, is coming from the east and to a place called Wadaguna, which is out in Nicoba, because that's where Miami Thailand meet. So she's walking from the coast, travelling to Wadaguna. On the way, she has babies, little baby Tiki Billas. They're falling further and further behind, and they become the Thicky Billa Hills at Compton Downs. And then she pulled up and waited for them, where she sits now at what they call Mount Oxley. She pulled up and waited, and she became that mountain. And that's one of the highest mountains in this area, and it's one of the most sacred mountains in this area. That's the place where Miami, when he stepped from the sky back down onto Earth, he steps onto that mountain first. And only the old clever men was ever allowed to go to the top of that mountain. None of the tribe was allowed to go to that mountain. They could go to the base of it, but they wasn't allowed to climb on top of it. And on top of that mountain is real sacred stone. It's a really precious stone that we would trade for other items. And the old men control the trade of that stone on top of Mount Oxley. These are the big lore stories that connect the east coast of Australia right out into western New South Wales and into the desert. The good thing about the Thicky Billers is it's owned by an Aboriginal group, our, our traditional owner group. You know, if we can't visit our sacred sites, we can't share them stories, then again we lose you know, our cultural identity, we lose our self-esteem, um, we become empty people. It's really important that our young people get an opportunity to connect to their, to their land, firstly, and to all the stories in their land, so that they know who they are. If I took them there, I would, I would like to spend at least two nights there yeah, to walk them around the hills. There's a big rain rock there, where we would go and sing when we want the rain to come. We've got this little brown frog with yellow spots that comes up after rain. There's a lot of bush tucker there, a lot of kwandong trees. Kwandong trees are really, were really important to, to my people that lived out in that red country. So yeah, to have a really good appreciation of, of Aboriginal cultural values, you can't do it in two hours or three hours, you know, you've got to at least take a couple of days. I mean, we've got 100,000 years of history to share, you know.